Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk a bit about a way you can stop a coroutine prematurely. So you'll notice if we go over to, let's say this code on one character at a time, text, sort text coroutine, inside of this, um, this script, um, it actually calls the sort coroutine method that every mono behavior, which is pretty much just about everything inside of Unity, honestly, uh, every mono behavior has access to and with that start, co uh, start coroutine you call a method which can be run as a coroutine which is usually these i enumerator uh, functions and um, then you'll notice uh, coroutine actually is returned by start coroutine so if you want to store reference to the coroutine that just started you can just assign that to a variable um, now that's not required of course it's only if you want to do something with that so if you have a reference stored to that coroutine, you can stop it pretty simply by calling stop coroutine, which is the obvious way to handle coroutines inside of your c -sharp script. So here I store a reference to the uh, current message coroutine, and up here at the top of the class, that's stored as a private uh, object. And if that coroutine isn't null, I stop it before I start a new version of coroutine, which basically means in this case, if it's already playing some kind of text one letter at a time, it'll stop that text and start the new one from scratch. Now that's one way to do it. Another would be to uh, have your code that actually execute the coroutine. Um, when it's finished, to set that coroutine as null, and then in your other code, you can check if the coroutine still exists. Another thing you can certainly do with your coroutines would be in part of your code that completes, like let's say the coroutine itself, if that's located inside of the same class, we could add something here like the current message equals null. And then in any other code, like let's say we had a class that wanted to see if all the coroutines had completed, we would see if there's any coroutines that aren't null, and you could do that with a list of coroutines, however you'd want to do that. And instead of checking for a coroutine, you could also uh, check for a Boolean variable, like is the text done complete, and at the start of your text you set it to false, and at the end you set it to true. But I think if you pull nothing else away from this video, just know that when you call the start coroutine method on any mono behavior inside of Unity, it does return a coroutine. And you can stop that coroutine by just calling stop coroutine with a reference to that coroutine. So that's going to be it for this video on coroutines inside of Unity. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out a bit. If you want to support the channel, I have Patreon links down below. And I'll see you all in my future content.